Hello, this is Nick from Drip Labs, and today we're going to do the fun bit. We're going to create our first recipe. Uh, so if you haven't already done that, you need to log in. So uh, if you need any information on logging in, go to the previous uh, video and you can see how to create an account and how to log in. And this is it. This is our recipe book and we are ready to go. Uh, at the moment, you need to type a name before you create a recipe, which is a bit jarring. Not really the, the creative workflow because we don't even know what it is yet. We don't know what it's going to taste like. So don't worry about it. You can just put in a temporary uh, placeholder name because we can easily change it later. So type in whatever takes you fancy and we can hit create recipe. So um, I'm going to I'm going to choose to gloss over a few things because we can cover them in uh, follow up walkthroughs. So the things I'm going to gloss over for now are the details of revision control so at the moment we haven't even created our v1.0 so later we'll talk about making variations of that um we'll after this video we're going to do add to basket and configure a bottle and those kind of things but for now i'm going to basically focus on the ingredients picker i'm even going to slightly ignore why sweetness is here it's here to help it's for a good reason if you want to read up on it you can click the help button here uh, or even go and see it in our help uh, files over there or our help pages um, for now the main focus is showing you a few different ways to pick ingredients and how to basically build a recipe so the ingredients picker gives you three ways of searching for ingredients you can type uh, you can use the categories or you can use the full alphabetical list and just walk through which is kind of a good way of doing it if you don't really know what's available and take a walk through um, the categories is nice if you're kind of looking for fruits or exotics so they're grouped in a sensible way we've got the desserts and drinks the drizzles and toppings nuts and aromatic spices which are well find uh, tobacco and things like that and the all important enhancers and modifiers so let's go ahead and put some ingredients in. So I'm going to make a black currant menthol with some blueberry in it. And I'm going to keep it fairly simple. In fact, I'm pretty much just going to go with those three. So uh, modifiers is, is where some of the the things that don't necessarily bring flavor but they really um they really enhance the profile they take it into a different dimension so you can give it a, a take your breath away and, and those kind of things we'll talk about modifiers a bit further down the line for now i just want the menthol so i've added my three ingredients just by ticking as i go i can untick ingredients to take them out i can also delete ingredients that way uh, with the rubbish bin or trash can uh, so basically uh, if you want any information about the ingredients that you haven't already seen like juicy might be a bit unusual you can click our in information and pop that out there you can also do it for the ones you've already added to a recipe uh, again i think we all have a pretty good understanding of blackcurrant blueberry and menthol so i'm just going to set my levels so uh, for my blackcurrant i want that to be fairly strong that's going to be one of my lead flavors so i'm going to have that just on the break there for between strong and intense my blueberry I, I don't want it to hide because i know the black currant is a fairly strong flavor uh, so i'm just going to have it at low mild it, it's not supposed to be equal it's not supposed to compete it's just there to uh to complement the black currant to elevate the black currant uh, and get a bit of extra dimension going on there and my menthol i like my menthol fairly cold uh not blow your head off strong so i'm gonna go for just there just into that so the only thing i'm going to do in the next video we'll add it to the basket and talk about different bottle configurations vg ratios and a little bit more about how the nicotine strengths work on dripper labs but for now i'm going to save what i've done here and I'm going to, I said that we would rename it and that's the last step of this video. So if you come to the product details tab in the future, this is where you're gonna be able to upload uh, your gallery of images and attach your flavor tags and various other things that we've got coming. Uh, you'll even be able to preview your own product page and see what it's gonna look like before you publish it to the store. But right now uh, you can use it to uh, current menthol very imaginative i'm sure there'll be hundreds of those so yeah i'm going to save that which we'll see update straight away we have made a black current menthol and the next step is going to be adding it to our basket thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next video